a regional band. We started off as a teenage band. They call us a garage band, but we were really a bedroom band at the time. <laughs> My parents would lock us in there and don't make, don't come out. We just did not fit in. I don't think it made sense for these uh, Mexican American kids to be playing, um, you know, American rock and roll or, or Tex Mex rock and roll. Now we accept all the different kinds of music. El silencio de la noche. El silencio, nada más. You know, Renee would always say, you guys need to be doing Mexican music. You need to be doing conjunto music. People were always trying to push us mm -hmm. away from what we really were. Mm -hmm. We were also very young. So, you know, um, even someone in their mid-20s or, or 30s seemed a lot older than us. You know, mm -hmm. now, we're the, now we're the oldest guy in the room. <laughs> turned some of those songs i brought them here your your uh, listeners can't see them but we've turned a couple of our songs into coloring books i you know? was about to ask you about that <laughs> so, <laughs> so you know uh, which is just another element of the kookiness that uh, is the crayola uh, Well, let me tell you, I read the words of Tony Tormenta, <laughs> and truly, I, I, it affected me for days. Was there an actual person by the name yes, of Tony Tormenta? Yes, that was his nickname. He is dead. He is dead, and the, and that song is uh, a uh, pretty much straightforward telling of what actually happened. I mean, you, you had a, a drug lord that uh, commanded an army that could rival the army. I know that there was a, a singer that had a song called something about Tony Tormenta that ended up dead mm -hmm. that's, about that's... two months ago. This is the story of Tony Tormenta. This is the tale of the one called the storm. This is the story of Tony Tormenta. The cruelest of the drug lords, twice ever born. 